Number 1 Hay House A Macon standout Hay House is among the most beautiful antebellum buildings in the South and has been occupied by only two families since it was built. Hay House is a mansion from the 1850s with a design inspired by the Italian Renaissance. Number 2 Okmulgee Indian Mounds On the eastern side of the city is a site that has evidence of continuous settlement stretching back 17,000 years. Needless to say it's a significant place to Native Americans, not least because of the ceremonial mounds that were built by the Mississippians around a millennium ago. Number 3 Amerson River Park Recently enhanced by a multi-million dollar project, this immaculate park is a miniature wilderness, just the ticket for a waterside family picnic on a sunny day. In the summer the Okmulgee River is especially tempting, and if you can get your hands on a canoe you'll be able to paddle the park's waters. Number 4 Tubman African American Museum A part of Macon culture for more than 35 years, the Tubman Museum is where you'll be able to investigate the city's African American heritage and learn about this community's past and present. Number 5 The Allman Brothers Band Museum Allman Brothers fans need to make the pilgrimage to this mock Tudor house on Vineville Avenue, where the band members lived in the early 70s with their families and friends. Appropriate for this leafy part of the city the house is beautiful, with 18 rooms and large grounds. Number 6 Grand Opera House When it was built in 1884 Macon's Grand Opera House had the largest stage in all of the southeastern states. Back then it was known as the Academy of Music and treading these boards in the early 20th century were Charlie Chaplin, George Burns, Sarah Bernhard, and Harry Houdini. Number 7 Okmulgee River Water Trail Here's your chance to float off into the great outdoors on a river trail that runs 200 miles down to Hazelhurst. The going is relatively easy, with only Class 1 rapids so it's an adventure for all the family. Number 8 ST Joseph's Catholic Church. A stunning neo-Gothic building constructed in the late 19th century this church on Poplar Street is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The construction came about because the city's growing Catholic congregation needed something more capacious than the converted Presbyterian church they had purchased in the middle of the century. Number 9 Rose Hill Cemetery. When cemeteries are as historic and elegant as Rose Hill they become attractions in their own right. Rose Hill features on the city's walking tours and the designer, Simri Rose, actually wanted the cemetery to be a place visited and celebrated by Macon citizens. Number 10 Museum of Arts and Sciences This is a multidisciplinary attraction that reconciles arts, science and humanities, so you can anticipate a fun and enlightening journey during your visit. Kids will love the science exhibits, especially because there's a mini-zoo and fun assortment of hands-on experiments and games. Hope you like this video. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel.